in a moment I'm going to be showing you how them fig suckers that we pulled out and potted in the last video, how they getting on. Guys, welcome back to Green Thumbs Garden. If this is your first time here and you love gardening videos, horticulture and all that kind of plant related stuff, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss a single thing. So guys, welcome back to another episode. I had my operation and it's already been about 12 days. Next week, they're gonna be taking off this uh, big basket and this giant lollipop stick that they've tied to my leg and I'll finally be able to start at least bending my leg again. So that's gonna be, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Really cool in that time, we've seen some sprouts come on our fig suckers, especially on two of them. And I'm really excited to show you these now. So as you see here, on our main one, remember the, 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 the one we, we got with the moss bit of root and we chopped it back and we made the little sucker that was growing on the sucker, we made that, that was gonna become the new basically trunk of the plant. And that's basically exactly what's happening. You see here, we've got a beautiful bit of um, uh, a bud developing, which is gonna, you know, it's gonna keep growing. And as you see at the base, we've even actually, the little sucker has started producing more little suckers. So we've got some little sprouts down there starting to develop. I'll just knock them off with my thumb. We don't want any growth happening down here. We want all the growth to just continue upward so it continues to, to strengthen. So it's, really doing awesome this one. Uh, I had high hopes for this. It had the best root system, uh, as you see in the video. And it also had a little bit of bud already growing. Well, like a dormant little bud at the tip. So I was quite confident that that would take off quite well. So two or three months, once this is doing really well, I'll probably repot it into a, a pot maybe twice as big and that will leave it in that for a season or two and what I'm using is just um, a good sandy loam, fig trees like good drainage and plenty of manure, uh, well rotted horse manure and uh, compost in there. As we see the other one, the other one, the second best one at the, the time we, we had a, a nice bit of root system as well. You can see it here, it's actually, you can't see much but if you just zoom in there you can see a nice little bud what's developing here. That's new, that wasn't there before. Obviously there was a dormant bud there and that's why when you chop it, always chop it just a bud, just above a bud so that at least you've got a, a good guarantee that something is gonna grow. So that one's doing, that's gonna do well. I reckon maybe two, maybe two weeks, this should sprout into a, a little bud as well. So I'm looking forward to see how, how, how that does. And the other one, the, the, oh man. Yeah, here we are. This one, this was the worst one. It had like the tiniest rubbishest bit of root going. I can even see just a little bit of a nipple there forming. Is that the right word? A nipple? <laughs> I don't know. A little dormant bud there anyway but it looks like it has grown a little bit also so um and if we just peel a bit of the bark away to see if to check if if your plant's still alive if it's been a while and you've not seen any signs maybe it's been a month or two and you've not seen any growth in your plant you just gently just with your thumb just that's it just just scratch a little bit away at the back. You don't want to dig in too hard. You just want to scratch a right little bit of the bark off with your nail. And if you see it's green, then it's still alive. This is still green. So we've got a good chance of something happening with this one as well. So I've took them out from where they were under that tree um, because it's winter here and there's not that much sun anyway. And I'm, I'm wanting them to get as much sun as possible, especially now it's been a little while, they've settled in their new pots. I want the, the, the leaves to soak up as much light as possible so they can photosynthesize and start doing their thing. If you look over my shoulder, our fig tree that we hacked back, it's full of leaves now, it's growing, um, growing a lot, it's looking lovely. So really look forward to seeing how that does this year and, and, and what quality of figs we get to it, uh, we get from it. I didn't manage to get any manure 
around. I, I wanted to dig. I dug that area around. I wanted to dig in lots of manure around the fig tree so it had um, the best uh, possible start. Uh, but um, I had this injury and um, that kind of put a spanner in the works. And then this big virus thing hit up. So uh, the little Campo guy who drives around, little guy from Ronda, he comes down with massive bags of goat poop and he sells them cheap as well, man. Um, I was going to get a load of bags because uh, I see the effect that that goat poop's having on my vegetables. Um, I wanted to get a few more bags, but obviously we're on lockdown. Um, we, we've not, I've not left, this is 23 days I've, I've not left the house. Well, I think I've left once, yeah, for the doctor's appointment. But um, yeah, so uh, we've been in lockdown a lot here and, and I just read in the news that we're going to be in lockdown now till the 26th of April. Um, my wife's managed to go out about once a week to buy sometimes um, some uh, tablets that I need for the leg anti-inflammatories and, and some shopping. But we've just been basically at home, but we're really lucky that we've got this little bit of land and, you know, um, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the lockdown, to be honest. <laughs> I've had so much to do. I've been reading a really interesting book as well. Uh, I don't know, where, where guys, whereabouts are you guys, um, more or less? And I, I, have you been, are you in lockdown yet? Or how long you been in lockdown? What's what's happening in, 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 in your neck of the woods? Um, uh, here, it's, it seems pretty rough, you know. I've seen videos of the, the army walking around Marbella and Benavis, the little place in the mountains. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll see how long this lasts, eh? Uh, uh, crazy stuff right now. So uh, that's how the, the fig trees are doing. Um, we'll give you another update as they continue to progress and grow. It's really exciting seeing seeing them grow and, and develop. I look forward to updating you in the future on that. And let me know in the comments how you guys are getting on in lockdown. Um, just try and exercise common sense. Um, don't get too bogged down in the news and the media, try and take a break from it, limit yourself maybe once or twice a week to, to see what's going on. You, the, the, the more we consume, if we just sat in front of the news, watching this stuff all day long, it's gonna feed anxiety and, and um, it, it's gonna stress us out, man. So just try and be uh, productive at home, think of what you can do and not what you can't do. You think about astronauts in the International Space Station, you know, uh, they've got, they ain't got a lot of freedom. So how do they do it, man? And, and think how we can take a leaf from their book. You know, they always keep exercise, keep a good daily routine. Just because you're in lockdown, don't mean you have to stay in bed all day long and, and um, take control of what is in your control, man. And, and I'm sure you'll feel a lot better. It's a crazy times right now. And um, uh, it would be interesting to see how things uh, develop. So uh, stay safe, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I look forward to updating you soon.